your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Welcome to this, your daily 180 Bible study. We're engaged in a study of the book of Hosea. We ask the question, how could a people sink to such depths of depravity? Well, today we're going to be looking at chapter 7, verse number 8, and there's something very telling here. I want you to listen. Ephraim has mixed himself among the peoples. It is the idea that they've intermarried and they've gone out. And, and listen, the issue is not one of race, but of religious purity. I know that's true because I know even in the genealogy of Jesus is Ruth, a Moabite, Rahab, who was a Canaanite, but they both had converted and, were on, and honored God with their lives. Ephraim is going out and mixing with all these pagan people and embracing their paganism and their idolatry. And notice what he says. Ephraim is a cake unturned. Now, what's that mean? Well, I want you to think about maybe like a pancake, okay? And you cook that pancake thoroughly on one side and maybe even get it to the point where it's burned on that one side, but you never turn it over. So what do you got? Well, it's no good on one side because it's burnt. On the other side, it's no good because it's not cooked. So what's he saying about Ephraim, about his people? You are useless. When we go out and we so mix with the world that you can't tell the difference between the church and the world, the church is useless. How does God feel about it? 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15 there John would write, do not love the world or the things in the world. What's he talking about? He's not talking about people. He's not saying that we shouldn't admire nature. He's saying don't buy into the world's philosophies. Don't buy into the world's systems, their wisdom. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. You see, you can't you can't love the world and love God simultaneously. It won't happen. You can't go so mixed with the world that you can't tell the difference between you and the world. James chapter 4 and verse 4 says, Adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? When we embrace the ways of the world and we so mix with the world that you can't tell the difference between the world and the church, we're an enemy of God. That's how people sink to the depths of depravity. Join us again tomorrow for your daily 180.